In a 2019 Rolling Stone interview, Kathleen Kennedy said this about Star Wars. Every one of these movies is a particularly hard nut to crack. There's no source material. We don't have comic books. We don't have 800 page novels. We don't have anything other than passionate storytellers who get together and talk about what the next iteration might be. Nine months later, stories have been told within this universe over the last 40 odd years, and there's now the realization that this is the mythology that actually spans about 25,000 years when you really start to look at all the different stories that have been told, whether it's in books, in games. I know it's real. Kathleen Kennedy. This woman's foot is so far in her mouth, every time she speaks, she fluffs herself. I mean, honestly, how do you explain this shit? Nine months ago, this woman claimed that 40 years of Star Wars games, comics, and novels didn't exist. So that's why they hired a bunch of Hollywood folks to fuck up Star Wars by making the Force female, skull fucking Luke Skywalker, and putting Donnie Yen in the Star Wars film and not giving him a goddamn lightsaber. Y'all didn't have nothing to work with. That's what she claimed. There was just the films and TV shows, and that was it. Just no material whatsoever. Flash forward nine months, and this heifer says this in an interview with The Wrap, quote, Stories have been told within this universe over the last 40 odd years, and now there's a realization that this is a mythology that actually spans about 25,000 years, when you really start to look at all the different stories that have been told, whether it's in books, in games. I hated her so much. It, it, the, it, flame, flames, flames on the side of my face. Oh, now you fucking know. You didn't know that shit when you had a metric fuck ton of Star Wars merchandise based around the expanded universe. All the comics from Dark Horse, all the Del Rey novels, all this money coming in on the books, Lucas is literally choosing you to run this and you had no knowledge of it. But now you know. And no one's half the battle. Yeah, I know it's the wrong franchise. Don't care. Woman, don't pretend you just stumbled on this shit. You're just saying this in an effort to get fans to come back to Star Wars. Baby, that ship has sailed. Ain't nobody coming back. Now all the people who drove the franchise into the ground in four years are still running things. You had all this material to work with. Fans want to see the EU stuff brought to life. And instead we got Discount Crybaby and Desert Skang. She says, quote, We just need the time to step back and really absorb what George has created. And then start to think about where things might go. Oh, you mean like that outline he gave you that Bob Iger mentioned in his memoir that y'all totally ignored? You mean that? Bitch, are you gaslighting me? Are you gaslighting me? You had the shit in your hands, literally in your hands, and you tossed it out so Mary Sue could have less character development than the red shirt. At any point, you could have called Lucas up for ideas, pulled from any of the stories from the expanded universe, worked with the Clone Wars team, but no. You shut all that shit down because you just knew what you was doing, and now Star Wars is less popular than Jar Jar Binks. There was so much story to work with, so many writers and artists you could have contacted, and you squandered it, and then shat on fans for even bringing it up. But now you've changed your mind because you're losing some of that money. She says, quote, that's what we've been doing. And we've been having a great deal of fun doing it and meeting with lots of different filmmakers and talent. Kathy. Kathy. Ain't them the same motherfuckers that ruined the shit in the first place? Dig deeper. Find someone who actually likes Star Wars. Not the idea of Star Wars, but the franchise. And someone who doesn't want to make their own version of it, but to expand the universe fans have come to love. I mean, it's great that you realize you fucked up, but you sound like an abuser apologizing because they don't want people to hate them, not because they're actually sorry. Maybe you can start to get people back by admitting it was a mistake to get rid of the expanded universe. Maybe even restore the EU, if not all of it, then anything that happened chronologically before the films. Personally, I still want to see the Jedi Search trilogy. I know that's a problem now since Gary Fisher died and Harrison Ford is done and Mark Hamill probably doesn't trust you. But through the miracle of technology, we can use face replacement and body doubles and throw a lot of money at Harrison and Mark to use their voices. Hell, technically, you don't even need to do that since Lucasfilm owns their likeness in regards to the original trilogy. Just mimic their voices. You can animate the damn thing or get the team who made Star Wars Jedi Fall in order to help you. There are options. But this current shit that you've done ain't working. And if this is what the different filmmakers and talents are working on, I just got one thing to say. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! But what do I know? 
I'm just some guy.